professor of epidemiology at the University of Health and Allied Sciences, uh, Fred Binka, says the current report suggests that the popular drug for the cure of malaria, uh, chloroquine, has been certified as having the capabilities to cure coronavirus. Uh, the former vice chancellor of the University of Health and Allied Sciences revealed this while sharing his thoughts of a possible treatment plan for this novel virus last Saturday on Key Points. In another three weeks, there will be a lot of drugs that will come sure. online. People are doing the test. They need right. about a month to six weeks to be able to do the mm. test. I read about a new finding which made me a bit uh, happy. Yeah. They found that chloroquine in China Back has in the been day, now chloroquine. certified. Yeah. Chloroquine, our famous I know. chloroquine. Mm. Which we been, sidelined yeah, at some exactly, point. Exactly. Has been found to be able to treat uh, this virus. So okay. that's, that's where the problem is. Mm. You know, once we don't find a way to treat it, that's where right. the panic starts. Right. Professor Binka is joining us uh, now. Uh, let's uh, quickly get to him on phone. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, we're grateful you could join us. So uh, give us a fair idea. Which report have you read that suggests that this popular chloroquine drug can uh, cure coronavirus? Uh, uh, well, I think the issue of chloroquine, uh, uh, treating viruses has been here for a very long time. And let me remind all of you, uh, when... In Ghana, here in Paris, past you had malaria, you had these herpes around your mouth, and after taking the chloroquine treatment, the herpes disappeared. I hope you remember what the herpes is about. Those are viruses that affect the lips that you tend to have, and chloroquine was able to uh, cure them. We also had already known that chloroquine does infect uh, the HIV type 1 virus. Uh, it, it kills, but it's not a cure for it. And Many other viruses, in fact, when the SARS came uh, some time back, about five years or six years ago, we also knew that SARS could do something about that. In fact, what chloroquine does is that the molecule is able to enter this, the, the cells of the virus. The chloroquine itself is a weak base, but the viruses are, the internal composition of the virus, in the cells of the viruses are very acidic. So it raises the uh, the pH within the cells and then disrupts the multiplication. In, in addition, it also affects some enzymes that are released. We, we, we call them um, the inter interleukin um, factors that are released when the cells are being killed. It modulates that, and because of that, it's able to affect the temperature. So you get a, a, a quick reduction in temperature with this virus causes, and it also cuts down on its replication, mm. and thereby to contribute to uh, the treatment of uh, the coronavirus. Mm. But but uh, chloroquine, as we know it, has, uh, has its own pretty harsh reactions uh, for people who administered chloroquine. Um, I remember clearly when I was a child and I, I got infected with malaria and I took chloroquine, it made me more sick and I got severe reactions, including terrible itches. And, you know, I mean, by the time you got well, you have being much more battered by taking chloroquine than if you did not. And so I, I wonder under which uh, condition you uh, have read that chloroquine will, will be that useful under these conditions also? Or you would say that the effects of chloroquine we have in the tropics might be different from in China, for example? No, definitely we're not talking. We're talking about the same thing. They are the same viruses that will show up in China and in Ghana. Uh, those reactions that we are talking about are important. A small part of the chloroquine story. In fact, in this country, I don't think there's any drug that has been consumed more than chloroquine. Millions of doses of chloroquine have been consumed and have saved many, many, many lives. We can deal with those reactions, but you should also remember that people are dying from the coronavirus and die death. People will uh, 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 So everybody will prepare to eat for a day or two and be alive than uh, not to eat and, and die. Mm. 
so I mean, if chloroquine was banned in Ghana, for example, for the treatment of uh, malaria, I mean, how then uh, do we, for example, expect that it can be useful again if it happens? I'm not suggesting that uh, coronavirus should be here, but if it does come here, uh, we will apply the same method, chloroquine, which has been banned in yeah. Ghana for the treatment of malaria? So at, at the moment, the trials are going on because they have people with the coronavirus in China. We don't have coronavirus here in Ghana. So the tests for treatment are recruiting these people and they have been found to recover quickly. Within a week, those who have been a problem have shown much, much better recovery. And their tests have become negative. It affects uh, the DNA, the, the, the DNA component of the test that are done. So if it were to come here, it would be the same. In fact, chloroquine is banned for the use in treatment of malaria. We can sometimes use chloroquine to treat arthritis because of these effects on the arthritis. So it's not that it's a drug that doesn't exist, uh, but it is not prescribed for use in the treatment of malaria in Ghana today. Mm. Right, so let's come to Ghana, still stay in Ghana with, uh, I want to know whether you are aware whether the Noguchi uh, uh, Medical Center is treating this news, that is the potential of chloroquine, uh, whether they are treating it with positive outlook and uh, whether they've carried out any tests so far. <laughs> that makes me happy, sorry. Uh, at Ghana, we are still behind issues. In fact, if somebody were to say he's working on the virus, in Ghana, I'm sure they will arrest the person and put him in jail. Uh, so, on the lighter side, no, we, I don't think Noguchi, nor any lab in this country, is working on coronavirus. All right. Uh, Professor Binka, we're grateful for your time. Thank you very much, uh, Professor uh, Vinka, uh, Binka. Binka is a former Vice Chancellor of the University of Health and Allied Sciences.